it first appeared 25 years ago in England. It had almost nothing to do with gaming, yet in two centuries it conquered the world. Do we know all about puzzles? Let's find out! The first puzzle was made in England in 1767 by cartographer and tutor John Spilsbury. It was him who had the brilliant idea of attaching a plumb sphere to a wooden board and separating, faithfully following its border, the individual nations with the jigsaw. What came out was a fascinating puzzle that this student had to solve by piecing the map back together. The real obstacle to the spread of the puzzle at first was the high cost. Early puzzles, in fact, were shipped by hand one piece at a time by skilled craftsmen. Moreover, the maps were painted on fine woods such as mahogany and cedar. In short, they were not for all budgets, but only for those who could afford them, usually the children of the European and American nobility and wealthy middle class. In 1910, the interlocking puzzle was introduced. So, the game was being perfected, but the costs were still too high. Starting in the 1950s, therefore, traditional wooden puzzles were replaced by cardboard ones. In addition to being cheaper, they also had better print quality and made it possible to faithfully reproduce famous paintings and awesome photos. For a long time, a group of researchers had been trying to recreate the structure of an important enzyme. With their computer models, they couldn't do it, so they thought they would launch the challenge on the folded side. Folded seems tailor-made for people who want to have fun with intricate, strange and fascinating protein structures. Usually, these are hypothetical cases, but this time, a real scientific question had been posed on the side. Adherence of the game not only took up the challenge, but solved the biochemical puzzle by proposing a model of the enzyme in just a few days. In 1980, Ronald Graham offered a $100 prize to anyone who could solve his Boolean Pythagorean triples problem. In 2016, three computer scientists solved the puzzle using a supercomputer over two days. The researchers created a 68 gigabyte compressed version of their solution. So anyone with a processor and about 30,000 hours of free time could download it, reconstruct it and verify it. But for a human it will be impossible because it will take roughly 10 billion years to read. Do you know the origin of the expression thinking outside the box? It is said to derive from a famous puzzle created by British mathematician Henry Ernest Dugney in the early 20th century. The puzzle asks you to connect nine dots on a 3x3 grid using four straight lines without the pencil leaving the page. To successfully solve the puzzle, one must realize that the boundaries of the box are psychological, so the only way to do it is to extend the lines beyond those artificial boundaries. The number place puzzle was originally created in the US. However, it didn't achieve popularity there, so the puzzle was shown in Japan. There it was renamed Sudoku. It later returned to the United States, but keeping the Japanese name. November 5, 1996 was election day in the US. Americans were being asked to choose their 53rd president between Republican Bob Dole and Democrat Bill Clinton. That same day, with the polls still open, the New York Times published what would become known in puzzle history as the prophetic crossword puzzle. The solution actually contained the name of the winner. I suppose you're wondering how it already knew. Simple, he didn't know it. The horizontal 39 had a double solution, Bob Dole elected or Clinton elected.
In 2008, one of the world's largest jigsaw puzzles was assembled in the central square of Ravensburg in Germany for the 125th birthday of toy manufacturer Ravensburger. Over 15,000 people jammed 1,076,820 pieces on a total area of 600 square meters. Rubik's Cube is one of the most popular brain teasers in the world. For that very reason, it deserves its own video. So stay tuned, because it's coming soon. <laughs>